This is not such a game play time. You say things because you want a certain way. You act a certain way because you want some certain thing. Yeah, I'm ready to stand every week. As long as I'm standing in my fucking own shoes. I'll terrorize your life and your regime. You are not pushing your own. I mean, I mean, you call the game or the attitude. I want to still be naked. Obi-Nuts. Why are you still be naked? That's it, that's it. After nomination process was done, Shulzy resumed work immediately by assigning work and spotting straight how his reign would be. Meanwhile, Venita seems too excited for someone that is up, although according to what she told Perry and uh summer that she's very happy she's standing this week that she doesn't even mind him standing every other week that is a way to test strength <laughs> pardon me for laughing please that is a way to test strength and that she's happy that she nominated strategically although for the rest of the housemates she can't say for them Maybe the whole alliance conspiration, she wasn't part of it, that she went in there and nominated strategically. And I'm like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> let's pass that. How is somebody that I nominated almost all her enemies nominating uh, strategically? Anyway, maybe mentioning Mercy was nominating strategically. But then she later told Adekule that she knows the Ike will be happy that she nominated Mercy. So that means it's personal. It's not strategically anything. Anyways, she told them that even if she leaves the house, she's happy she has maintained being Venita and that the viewers have seen that. That she knew she would definitely be up when Adekule received immunity. She knew they would go in there and nominate her since Adekule is saved. Meanwhile, Adekule said the housemates should be happy that he picked immunity that he saw the sadness on their face when he picked immunity but they should be happy about that because had it been he stood up with these people that they would definitely go home and i'm like hmm proud couple <laughs> if only they know what's going on anyways messi and angel are beginning to plan how next week nomination will look like and they said for next week oh, they don't need to be understanding that they definitely be putting people up and Messi said that she jokingly told Cross that she nominated him and Cross said oh I know that won't happen we are family and she said imagine next week she would definitely be putting Cross up that that will be difficult but this time around you know the game is almost getting to an end and strong people needs to stand Messi now went ahead to tell Angel that she regrets nominating Doyin and Angel was not like regrets how if you didn't nominate her, who could you have nominated? <laughs> God, I beg you, this housemate's not gonna kill me. On the other hand, Cross was so worried about his sweetheart, Kim, and was trying to put up one on two on who nominated Kim. And when Kim said, I definitely know you nominated me, Cross said, How possible is that? And Kim even mentioned she's suspecting white money as those that nominated her. But then Cross said, no, that white money cannot nominate you. That white money knows, you know, the thing between you and I, that there is no way he will nominate you. And that he still believes the both of you have a chance of dating. So he can't go there and nominate you. But Kim said, no, don't even say that because, you know, this whole alliance thing, white money might be part of them. And he might just go there and nominate me because the house ganged up on to mention my name when they go in there. Meanwhile, Kuku was telling Sissy that he might need to watch the show when he lives here. That you know that he's missing on, on a lot of things happening in the house. That even the Lebaye and Doyin problem, that he just found out about it when Doyin became head of house last week. That you know he didn't even know the both of them had problems to the extent of not talking to each other. And I'm like, how will you know? You, you are a married man now. <laughs> Ilibaya and Cross tried to settle their differences and Cross went ahead to tell Ilibaya that he really underrated her, <clears throat> that he has discovered that she is conniving, not straightforward, self-aware, very smart and intentional with all her moves. 
And the Levi went ahead to ask Cross, are you saying this to be on hearsay or you've experienced this on a first-hand level? And Cross said, no, it's not based on hearsay or gossip in the house because Levi was saying, I've noticed something about me. If anything happens, people don't come to meet me to ask me how it happened. Rather, they will go to the th they rather go to third party and get information from there. But then Cross said, no, that when he started figuring you out, it's the last Saturday when they kissed and they started having conversation. That that was when he tried to put two or three together and said, no, this girl has outplayed me. But then he left and he said, what conversation did we have that make you realize this? That the only conversation we had was about um, me liking Prince, you liking Kim. But then Cross said, no, 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 that they had other conversation, blah, 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 blah. That was when he discovered her. And Ilebaye said, you know what? I can't change your perception about me, you know? And Cross even asked her, you kissing me on Saturday, was it planned? Did you plan that? And Ilebaye said, nobody plans to kiss. And Cross said, because everything is beginning to look like you planned everything. Ilebaye told him that regarding Kim, she respects what the both of them have because if she really wants to win it, that she can actually come into the picture, especially when Cross the boss is out. But Cross said, no, moving forward, there will never be any Cross the boss. That that's why anytime he takes alcohol or exceeds his limits, he will just go straight to bed. That he doesn't want things he's not aware of to pop up later. And Ilebaye now told him that, well, she's disappointed on the conversation you and Neil were having about her. But then, she won't change your perception about her. After that, Cross apologized to Le Baye saying, I'm sorry if that really hurt you, but this is what, who I think you are. I'm standing with my latest, you know, observation of who you are. And Le Baye said, it's fine. It's okay for you to have that about me. But what you were having with you, I would never do that to you because of the friendship we've shared. Meanwhile, Venita, Summer, and Angel, while Venita was making Angel's hair and Summer was feeding Angel, they decided to have conversation regarding the whole nomination process. And Venita said she wants strong contenders, you know, to start going home. And Angel was like, strong contenders? How do you even know strong contenders? We are now outside watching the show. And she said, anyways, she wants those she perceives as strong contenders to be going home that she will definitely start nominating them that if they win the money she will they will tell her they understand that now she herself she wants the money and she expects them to understand as well moving into the hoh why ilebaye and shows they were trying to settle down ilebaye expressed her feelings regarding sunday eviction that she's really scared being that she's standing with strong contenders. But then, she also told her not to be scared that she be David. <laughs> David was able to conquer the lawyers. And while Ilebaye kept saying, don't you see the people I'm standing with? She also kept saying, didn't David defeat the lawyers? Uh, have you seen the people I'm up with? Oh, well. Why say Venice out of the after that, he cleared his BFF that they won't be sleeping upstairs with him, that he wants to sleep alone and naked, that in fact, Mercy should come and uh, pack her bags, that Mercy brought her bags upstairs, that he will even call Mercy to come take them downstairs as he'll be sleeping alone. And even Sissy and Ileba, you were like, you know, why? Can't we share the bed with you? He said, no, 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 he doesn't want to do that with any of them. Being that the wife instructed him not to be in any lady's bed or any lady shouldn't be on his bed and he said in fact he has even imagined if he, the wife was on the show and he's outside watching the wife you know being on another person's bed or sharing a bed with a male counterpart that definitely he will feel bad about it and at that he has decided to respect his wife after that he went downstairs and told those downstairs that in case he's upstairs and doesn't want any disturbance that he's making Perry in charge i guess he was just joking anyways but he has told him that this week you know why he was saying Perry will be in charge of downstairs or any other thing that he's giving him an invisible emblem 
And Sissy was like, no, Perry, hmm. Perry should talk to them with respect. So he said, of course, definitely. This week, they will be respecting each other. And that this week, they should get ready because they're going to win their wager task. That his regime, they're not going to fail wager. Everybody should make up their mind and get ready for that. <laughs> Anyways, all the best to Shelsey. Let's see how his win, his week goes. And thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. It's literally not necessary. Talking like, think about the fact that we're friends or we're guys.